Dunn's integrity was legendary, even in O'Leary's shady reports, just like Yale had said. Dunn had kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym when he found him snooping around. The report on Yale's father was the shortest of all, since only his name was left. Why? Cassidy's report was possibly the longest among all of O'Leary's files. Apparently, the rivalry went way back, so much so that they spied on each other in the most unthinkable ways. At least I was able to confirm what Yale had told me. Cassidy had threatened Dunn after he refused to join the manager's union. A crossler? The good news is, I don't need lockpicks to open it. The bad news, I didn't bring explosives. Even Dunn had a gun in his office. O'Leary couldn't possibly be the exception. Dunn had $200 in his safe. O'Leary had about 20000 in a drawer. Jake. The phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jim? Here it is, middle of the night. <coughs> Jake. The phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jim? Here it is, middle of the night. <coughs> Jake. 
the phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. Jake. The phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. Jake. The phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. Jake. The phone rang twice. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. And we're working extra hours. Hey, Jimmy, what do you think about that? I think he's scared stiff, Desmond. <laughs> Why's that, Jimmy? We're giving you the red carpet treatment. We even let you in the boss's office. You're one lucky fellow. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh. C calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, th th three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. And tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? No, please, please, please. I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh, c calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, th 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 three months, three months. Oh yeah, I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. And tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? No, please, please. I didn't do anything, I swear.
He was a good guy. <laughs> of course, you already knew that. You knew him better than me, right? <laughs> he was my cousin. I. That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job and you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. No, no, no. Oh, that's no way to treat a widow, is it? <laughs> <laughs> She's lying! Why would I do that? Leave him alone, O'Leary. No one deserves to die. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you do. He was a good guy. <laughs> of course, you already knew that. You knew him better than me, right? <laughs> he was my cousin. I. That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job and you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. No, no, oh, no. That's no way to treat a widow, is it? <laughs> What about the kid? <laughs> Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? Son of a bitch. I didn't want to. It was his idea. <laughs> Leave him alone, O'Leary. You can't just take... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> what about the kid? <laughs> Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't want to. It was his idea. <laughs> Selfishly. I was glad I hadn't risked my life to save Jimmy. Maybe not even someone like him deserves to die. But one could also argue that I didn't deserve to die for someone like him. Who's your boss? Give me a name! Cassidy. It was his idea. He said you'd hired me if I'd managed to scare the widow, and I just... All right, all right. Let's... Just calm down now. Okay? It's going to be okay. There are two sacred principles that rule my life. The first principle is the love for my family. I do anything to protect them. The second principle I never put my future in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. And I would even add a third principle, or better yet, a rule. If anything threatens either of these two crucial principles, I take matters into my own hands. You see where this is going? For the first time, I got someone killed. Even though all I really did was rat him out. No, I... no, 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 I just... Stop I, interrupting I, I... me, Jimmy! It's not polite! Sorry. We're all the same. So rude! You know what? 
Let's leave it at that. You're going to give a message to that disgusting walrus Cassidy, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Good boy. What? 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 what, what what's the message? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You still don't get it, do you? You are the message. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Wrap him up. Make sure Cassidy gets the message for breakfast, will you? Got it. I hope he chokes on it. Hmm, where are you hiding, little fishy? Once again, you didn't get to hear the end of my story. You take, take matters Matt. into your own hands. Seriously, what just happened? The, the love, love you feel I feel for, money. for... What is going on today? The, the love, love you feel I feel for, your for What is going on today? The, the love, love you feel I feel for, Ireland. for What is going on today? You should have seen his face. The it's poor interesting guy what didn't comes to mind when you think coming. you're about to die. Suddenly all I could think about he was gave me a look of stupor, how much I wanted as a if pet he was fish. Asking, you too, Brutus? Anyway, I was 14 years old, and I still dream about him, 
about his widow and his son. By then, a dreadful I was adamant ordeal. about buying a fish. But, but first, that was that. Never again. Nowadays, whether it's me who pulls the trigger or not, I have zero regrets. What's more, I sort of enjoy it. The guy never hesitates to pull the trigger. Even if I hadn't seen what he did to Jimmy, I'd know he's not bluffing. His pupils are dilated, and there's a slight grin on his face. The bastard is enjoying himself. When a mob boss declares his love of family, it can only mean that A, he won't hesitate to ruin yours, and B, he's cheating on his wife. In case anyone had any doubts about who's the boss around here, I'll put my dirty feet on his luxurious table to prove that all of this is mine. I knew I had it in me to get out of that place alive. wife is having an affair with Colbert? Should I serve this to O'Leary on a silver platter, or threaten Colbert so he'll get me out of this mess? And, well, that's it, I think. <laughs> you know, Black Sad, I never made it this far. Congratulations, you're going in style. I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect you and your word. Colbert told me to come here. What? Me? No way! You did what? Colbert? When? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> yeah, remember? At that bar on 33rd and Main Street. Don't you remember that cocky drunk guy? Uh, no. He kept bragging about how he was banging another guy's wife. Oh? Oh, yeah. Weird times, huh? Yeah, and you congratulated me for finding Yale and saving your life. Several times! Then I asked you if O'Leary would thank me somehow. And I thought it was a very reasonable assumption. And then you told me to come here to ask the boss himself. Yeah, I think you deserve it. Right, Desmond? Oh, black sad, black sad, black sad. Thank you. First... You get a random beating from Wilson. And now this. Although you have to admit I had my reasons to be suspicious, you ran away from Yale's apartment, didn't you? Take it. It's only fair. Thanks. I'll make good use of it. <laughs> A word of advice. Make bad use of it. It's more fun.
Oh, Black Sad. Aren't these odd hours to pay me a visit? Your message was important, but certainly not urgent. It could have waited until tomorrow, don't you think? Three cats and wolves hunt at night.